one of my favorite mentors is John Maxwell, and uh, he says this, leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. So what I was thinking was, as I was sitting in my thinking chair, thinking about the things I was thinking about, one of the many purposes in being in this life at this moment in time is to impact our circle of influence. That's uh, blessing those who God has put in our path. So I related it back to this. What Bicky guy, which is a word I made up, is three different philosophies, wabi-sabi, ichigo, ichie, and ikigai, all combined into one. And today we're going to talk about how influence has its place within all of these. So let's jump into it. All right, good morning. I got my notes here and getting the day started. Some Eliano's. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. <clears throat> well, I haven't got I haven't got my new mic in yet, so bear with me. And let's get this started. Uh, today is with Vicky Guy in your influence. Take these off, even though I need them. Uh, so as I was saying, uh, influence is pretty much, uh, everything. Well, nothing more or less in leadership, right? And God has placed us to impact our circle of influence. I say that all the time, right? So what I wanted to do was focus in on what Biki got, that word that I made up that consists of wabi-sabi, ichigo ichige. And icky guy, <clears throat> my three Japanese philosophies that I am trying to live by or trying to incorporate incorporate into my life. And uh, just real quick breakdown of what it is. Wabi sabi is really, you know, the overview is uh, impact uh, perfection in the imperfection. And really just discovering new things, the perfect in the imperfect. And Ichigo Ichie is being in the moment, of course, it's once in a lifetime opportunity. And Ikigai is pretty much living a full life through your purpose, purposes. <clears throat> I know here in the West, we like to say, you know, What's your purpose in life? And that one thing that you're called to do. But my belief, um, what I've discovered in talking with God, you know, I'm always asking, what's that one thing that you got me here for? But it's several things, several things. And uh, if I just focus on one, some of the other things that he's given me talents to do and will fall by the wayside. You know, you don't want that to happen. And in all three of these things, Wabi Sabi, uh, Ichigo Ichige, and um, Ikigai, influence is a part of it. Now, uh, I wrote a, a little mini book, or I added it to 5,000 Fish Sandwiches, too, which you put in, so what you get out, our influences kind of dictate or uh, you get the results from the outcomes. I mean, yeah, our influences in dictate our outcomes. So what you put in is what's going to come out. So really, what I wanted you to see is that the influence that we have in these three areas, starting with Wabi Sabi and breakdown of Wabi Sabi. I was listening to, uh, uh, it's, I think it's Robert Miller. Uh, I don't have that book. I got all these Wabi Sabi books, but I didn't have that one. I guess it's new or something, but it's on the way. I, I put it on Amazon. 
because it's not in the bookstores. But it was Robert Miller, and, and he broke down Wabi Sabi. Wabi, the first part, was really the way we see things uh, in the imperfection part to it. Like, it's how we hear things, you know, our our influence or our uh, the way we see things eyes uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder and what it does is it's, it's the simplistic or the minimalistic part to it uh, where's let's see uh, just the shape well I'm, I made this cup the shape of it is a little different I know it's a tumbler but you know, I made it my own. But compared to all of my other coffee cups, they usually have this side, uh, you know, shape to it. Wabi Sabi is giving it that, you know, not so defined lines, and it, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to fit the mold of what a coffee cup is supposed to be. And that's kind of the Wabi part. The Sabi part. Of wabi sabi the sabi part is the age uh the beauty of aging and the beauty of its uniqueness so out of all of my coffee cups that i got sitting here this one stands out and not only it stands out it has character uh last time picking this up it has my name on it you know and it has wabi sabi ichigo ichie and ikigai on it it has my name <clears throat> it shows me as a friend and when i see it it stands out different than waffle house uh you know all of my cups here are kind of different but they kind of have that same shape this was from uh Supplo island and you know they're they're unique but they still have those same shapes and if you go through all my coffee cups, you'll see they're all unique. It'll even say be unique. And, and this is written backwards. It's not showing backwards. But that's how it is. So Wabi Sabi is, you know, that perfection and the imperfection. The uniqueness makes it what it is. And <clears throat> that uniqueness, uh, the way God has made us, is where our influence comes from. So what I was thinking of is the Wabi Sabi part was our influence on ourselves. Okay. The things that we take in, the things that are unique to us. A lot of people might come and look at these um, coffee cups and say, hmm, I like that one because it looks like a coffee cup. More power to you. I like mine because it has my name on it and I made it. Uh, it's unique and whatever is unique to you that is influencing you and your decisions on how you can do things the Ichigo Ichigay part Ichigo Ichigay's once in a lifetime meeting and being in the moment this is where our influence is built up that energy the essence of the influence so we have influence coming in but when we have that reflection time or when we're communing with someone and our influences are coming out, not yet, not, that's, that's icky guy. But that energy that's built up within the influence, that's in the Ichigo Ichie, that once in a lifetime meeting. And a lot once in a lifetime meeting needs to happen regularly, even though it's once in a lifetime, it needs to happen regularly with, with ever whatever whoever because the more meetings that you have the more influence that you've built that wabi sabi part so if i'm sitting here having communion with god and i'm listening i'm talking and i'm listening he's talking and he's listening and we have this intimate conversation my influence is being built up on the inside of me. 
for and that icky guy is living a full life through our purposes so with that being said since that's our outward our outcomes our outward uh, relationships going outward that's this going here our wabi sabi is this right here our influence coming in on the inside of us the things that we think about the things that we built up on the inside of us and when we release that you'll see it released through our ikigai which is our purposes so if your purpose is I mean if one of your talents is drawing <clears throat> And you really have a knack. Whenever you start drawing, you get crowds of people around you. That more than likely could be one of your influences because people are drawn to it. And whatever is influencing you, guess what? It influences that art. And those people around you are influenced by that art. So that influences flow from whatever you put in going out and our purposes the things that we touch the people that we do I mean things that we do our actions the people that we touch their hearts their we impact lives our impact on our circle of influence that's where you'll see purposes man that was a purpose right there that was a purpose that uh, uh, that I was able to do I was able to touch that life or you know I was directed to make this thing right here and then once I made it all these people came to know whatever whatever uh, the outcome was the results all that being said there's a flow you really get it in the Ichigo Ichie the that meeting I can't stress that enough that, you know, there needs to be time for you to commune with God, for you to, to talk and and to have time with each other, me and you just sitting down and just one on one. What's your idea? What are you doing? And you hear mine. What's, what's my idea? What am I doing? And those things intertwining so we can build better relationships. And our influences coming in the wabi sabi us appreciating the 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 uniqueness and the beauty of those things hey you you like broccoli i like asparagus we can make something together some kind of casserole you know the our uniqueness comes together and then that outcome the icky guy our purpose was to cook it you know but that being said, all these things intertwine together and influence uh, is causing us to become leaders in this world or eat, especially in our own circle of influence. Your leadership role, your whole world is impacted by you. You might feel small, but in your world, everything revolves around you. And if you are a minor or, uh, 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 you know, if you're not the major character, if you're not the main character in your own world, then life is really going to pass you by and it's going to have its way with you. And we don't want that. We want to be intentional in our life so we can have a full life. We can do the things that we want to do. And that impact that God has his hand upon us. He brings things to us for us to influence. He has us in certain places to be influential. I don't want you to get the real big, you know, e ego trip of it's all about you, but in your world, in your circle of influence, it really is. God has placed you in a position where you have influence, the way John Maxwell says it, nothing more, nothing less. So keep that in mind as you go throughout this week. See who you can touch.